Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, everybody. This is Evil Mini Me. How are we doing today? I am absolutely fantastic. Yes, we are back with another episode of Skyblock Evil Edition. Um, and I have some updates. Not quite finished, but I have some updates. And I figured it would be perfect time to bring you guys back, talk about what is going on. So, uh, in the last episode, we started uh, gathering or we finished the gold farm in order to start our storage system, which we have now got almost <laughs> done so these are 16 high and 64 blocks long um and i did the maths each chest can hold 35 things and 35 times 16 well times 32 times 64 gives us a large number the important part is that it's going to take about eight hours in game to fill all these chests up about and i say about because i didn't include the hoppers um so that's you know 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 80 extra uh spots uh times you know 64 or 128 rather but what i've gone ahead and done is i started kind of laying out uh, how I wanted this to go. So I got the the track laid down and I got it all powered up. Uh, I had to put glass here so you can still access these chests because even though they said in one of the updates the hoppers could now like put stuff into chest and hoppers could pull stuff out of chests that were blocked. That's not true. It doesn't work. Um, so my original plan was to have this all as just iron instead of glass but I can't do that. Um, it just doesn't work and I don't know why but anyway so let me go over to this other side and show you because I haven't done uh, the other side yet and you can see I've had to spend some time at the gold farm too not for supplies but for experience in order to keep my um, my axe from breaking I had to repair it four times while I was cutting down all the trees for all these hoppers and stuff okay so this is kind of what I've come up with the original plan okay sorry about that probably a weird cut hopefully I made it look really good but anyway uh, what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted no I'm just kidding uh, sometimes it's hard um, doing this because I you know I just kind of have to find a uh, spare time to do this since I do live a pretty full and active lifestyle plus uh, you know two children wife all that kind of things uh, job well not really a job but kind of a job anyway what I was saying was um, I'm gonna have my original plan was to have this come around and over and then have the whole um, dispensing system for the iron to come into these chests like right here that's not gonna work and the reason that's not gonna work and I could probably make it work but I don't feel comfortable putting redstone past this point point. and the reason being is because this is where the uh, like actual spawn chunks end, and this is where the lazy chunks begin. Now redstone is supposed to work uh, within the lazy chunks uh, because they are like partially loaded. But still, don't fully understand it. Um, but I don't know about minecarts, uh, and I've tried to do some research on it, and um, I really don't understand. So I've changed it, and now what I'm going to have it do is come over here. And we're going to do it on this side. And it, it'll work out pretty good. So what will happen is the iron will come out over. It'll come down uh, this way to probably around here somewhere around where this chest is. And be careful with chests because you can't really sneak off of them. You fall. Um, and then it'll shoot the cart out this way. It'll come down and back. Um, before I did this, and I actually got really scared uh, when I figured this all out because you can't put, uh, you know, tracks on top of chest um was whether or not this chest was going to get uh too dispensed in it and it does because it comes briefly stops and then goes and actually dispenses two iron um so that works perfect right because it'll come down dispense one in every single one hit this 
dispense two and then dispense another one in all of them. So it'll be evenly distributed, which is what I was worried about, but I no longer am. So what I need to do is I need to go and I get need to get some supplies together. And then um, I got to get some ice, some dispensers uh, and stuff. Um, one of the things I'm going to do is hmm, I need to try to figure this out. One of the things I would like to do is um, put some sort of overflow protection on this uh, so that once these hoppers get filled up, um, it triggers some sort of red, like, hmm, that's going to be difficult because it's a lot of comparators. Actually, no, I should only have to do one per side. I could probably do one comparator per side because I only really need to detect when one of these hoppers gets filled up since it's being distributed evenly. Mm, I don't know. I I honestly don't know. I don't know how I'm going to... I, I got to figure that out because I don't... I mean, I have enough comp, uh, courts to do 128 comparators, uh, but that, like almost depletes it. I would only have like a stack and a half left. Um, and I have other plans for those comparators. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go away. I'm going to figure out all the supplies I need. And then we are going to build, uh, one of these devices, uh, at least the distribution device, uh, on one side. Uh, so right now what'll happen is it'll probably like come in this way and then wrap around, go down, come back, do a little loopy thing, come down, come back. And I might even just be able to tick it straight off here so it doesn't have to like loop twice. Um, but we'll figure all that out. So I'm gonna go away, get my supplies, and then I'll bring you back. All right, and we are back. And I got the basic uh, setup laid out here. So what I wanna do now is just kinda uh, walk you guys through um, setting this up. So I'm gonna need my comparators, some detector rails, power rails, um, for now, and then I'm gonna need some blocks on me. So what I need to do is put, yeah, this should work. Okay. So detector rail, detector rail, and then I'm going to do a repeater here into a block with a redstone torch on the back and then a comparator with a repeater and then a piece of dust right there. So basically what this um, circuit is gonna do when it passes over here, it's gonna send a pulse into here, which is gonna turn this off, uh, which is ultimately gonna turn that off and then some stuff. This detector rail, if it fully powers or when it doesn't power, it'll override the signal. So I'll show you that in just a second. So, and then we need to go like this, like this, Power rail, regular track, power, power, power. Right, four, one, two, three, four. Regular rail, power rail, regular rail, power, 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 power. Okay, and then like so. Then what we need to do is we need to take dust, put it along here like so, and then take a redstone torch and put it like this. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is the my cart will come yeah so once it's done doing this it'll come back around here <laughs> it'll automatically power this which will send a pulse and then as it goes over this detector rail if it's empty it will not pulse which will allow this track to switch if it's full then this track won't switch and it'll loop uh back around I'm going to put a torch here and a torch here, uh, and that should power everything. Okay, so now what we need to do is put down a power rail. Power, oh, I don't make, let me, I need to make some more, ooh, I need to make some more redstone blocks. Do I don't have any wood on me. All right, let's just run over here and do this real quick. It won't take but a minute. Sorry, I just readjusted my mic real quick. Uh, I need one, two, two redstone blocks. So actually four of them. That gives me five, four. Okay. 
It's one thing I forgot uh, to get. Anyway, we got them now, though. Oh. So let's actually get rid of those. I'll run back over here and finish setting this bad boy up. This is, oh man, this is going to be so fantastic. And remember, um, this all has to face north, like, so that the minecart, um, so it has to face this way. Uh, otherwise, this will not work. Um, okay, so actually, let me pick up this power rail and get rid of this block. And I don't care if I catch it or not. I'm going to put down a power rail. And then we're going to put down um, another detector rail. And then on the back, I'm going to come up like this. Put down just a regular rail because these are stupid cheap to make. Get rid of this. And then we can put down another block. Okay. Okay. And then we need a chest on top of here. Like so. All right. And then what we need is, so coming off of this redstone, which I need that like that. So I need a comparator coming off of here that goes into a block. Oh, I made this one too short. So let me fix this real quick. I need a block coming off there into a piece of redstone dust block on top of that and then we're going to need a sticky piston like here and then we can actually break this this and this and we're just going to break them for aesthetic purposes because once we um, get into like the building uh, of things uh, I want to make sure that we can um, make all of this work. Okay. And then, so comparators coming out, and then I need a redstone block here, like so. And then a piece of dust, and then a torch, like so. Okay. And then we put our block up here. All right. And that's pretty much good to go. Um, I don't, I don't think I'll need to power these two. So we'll just put regular rail down. All right. So now we can test this. I'm putting a minecart on here. Have it go. Perfect. Then should go all the way to the back. And then all the way to the front, and we can actually grab. Oop. Let's do one, two, three, four, five stacks of iron. Wait, minecarts hold. Do they hold five or six? And when that minecart comes back, it should get stuck right up there, which it did. Okay. Hmm. Let me access you. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it holds five. Okay. So once I put all five in here, it should release like so. Come down and then dispense all the iron evenly. Um, so it's going to make a couple trips back and forth because uh, each one down, you get rid of one, and then two, and then three, four, Hmm, that's actually kind of inefficient. But it should work. We're just going to test this to make sure that it does. And then we'll go down to the bottom and make sure uh, all of the chests filled up evenly. Make this loop. And it's not because... Because why? Hmm, there was one extra in there. I mean, it should be gone by now, but. Yep. Okay, so that worked. 
Now let's go down here and try to figure out which one it did not deposit evenly into. So five, five, five. Okay, let's go all the way to the back. Because this is the one that I'm concerned with, that it's not going to deposit. Yep, so it only deposited four and then six into that one. Hmm, very curious. Okay, so I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna do some testing uh, to see if I can't get it uh, to deposit into there. Uh, I guess better, more frequently. Um, I might have to move this one back. Because for whatever reason, it didn't seem to drop two off every time. Which is very curious. Very, very curious. Okay. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to do some more testing. But we got the basic setup of this. And I'm going to mirror this on the other side. And it should work just fine. Uh, flipped around. But I can always test that in my creative world as well to make sure. Um, so let's go ahead and get some more... I'm just going to run one, two, three, four, five, six. No, take this one out. Yeah, so this is actually really inefficient because it's going to make six passes and these things only hold five. Which is unfortunate. So let's actually go down here. Take a look at this as it operates. Some food real quick. So now it's got six, and this has eight, and that's seven. Okay. Now it's got seven. These all have nine. So now it's two behind, and this one has an extra one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my creative world. I'm gonna work on this a little bit, and then once I have it figured out, I'll bring you guys back and we'll start working on uh, or I'll do and I'll do the other side. I'll set up the other side as well because I do have All the materials to do that and then we'll work on the water streams to get all um, Of that stuff up here. And what are you doing? Stupid go go fall And then we're gonna you know throw some light in around so I will be right back Alrighty 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 we are back and I got everything, uh, at least this part, all wired up. Um, and I found a solution to the problem that uh, will work. For whatever reason, in my creative world, um, this exact same setup works perfectly fine. But when I do it in my Skyblock world, it does not. I don't know. Um, so what I did instead was I angled this rail upwards so that it takes a little bit of extra time uh, and allows it to drop two in there. So again, I've covered all this up. You can still access these chests, so it's not a problem. And then I covered all of this up with iron. So that way, there's no way, or there shouldn't be any way, for the chest or the minecart uh, to be interacted with while it's on there delivering the goods. Got everything all lit up and everything so that no mobs should spawn up here. And then I went ahead and did the same thing on the other side so i want to reiterate again if you guys um are planning on doing this in your own world um make sure you have this oriented correctly so it, it has to be done this way facing to the north because of the way the tracks uh link up you can flip flop it right so i have this mirrored exactly like that one and this one works perfectly fine as well and then i have the same setup the angled uh, track on the end there so that it all works. My original idea for getting the iron up here was to do a, a glass item elevator. Have it come up right next to the Iron Titans, come over and then uh, 
be deposited, you know, put it into an ice stream and, you know, fall into a hopper or something and then be deposited into this chest. However, with the recent snapshots and kind of where I see them going with this, um, I don't want to do that because it doesn't look good anymore. It's kind of jerky. It's like dit, 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 all the way up. The other problem I have is this is pretty much solid. Uh, so I plan on having the ice stream right in the middle. So right, like right here where the uh, item elevator come up right through here and then go up and then out through there. The problem I have now is what I would have to do is actually go into where the iron golems are spawning because this wall is completely covered with chests and stuff and I'm not breaking through there. That's just not going to happen because it'll mess everything up. Um, I can do this though. The only problem I have with it, um, which isn't really that big of a problem, is it will disrupt the iron golem spawns. Uh, like I said, not that big of a deal. Uh, but you know, I put the time and energy into building this whole thing. Um, I want max spawns, uh, whenever possible, uh, because then it would come up to, uh, this point right here. It would come up through here and then would have to go kind of out this wall, which would be relatively difficult. Um, trying not to mess up, uh, whatever, uh, villages and stuff I already have. And then the other problem is that it would have to come right over the track. Uh, and then it's a lot harder for me to implement some sort of overflow system. So what I've kind of been thinking about is uh, basically just tapping it off of the bottom here, since I already pretty much have uh, this kind of built out and actually had to move this all down one, which was a huge pain. Um, but I moved it down one so that I could get the hoppers underneath these uh, blocks so they wouldn't show through. But basically what I'm thinking now is that I could just bring a hopper chain straight out uh, and then over and then do a uh, like a dropper elevator up to that. And I could do the uh, silent dropper elevator uh, so it could get up there. The only problem I think I might have... Um, Oh, no, that should be fine. The capacity should be fine. It should be able to handle it. Uh, no problem. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing um, is, you know, just have it come down, maybe have an ice stream, shoot it all the way over uh, and then get picked up by a hopper and then do the uh, item elevator up into there. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Uh, section down below. Um, I'm pretty sure there's other ways that I could implement a uh, sorting system or a rather a delivery system into this. Um, so I want to know your opinions. What other you know methods have you seen or do you think would work well? Um, and then and then I'm kind of torn on whether or not I want to make this bottom part out of iron since I have this top part made out of stone. Uh, that's kind of the other thing that I'm battling with right now. I could change all this out uh, to stone. However, I have crap tons of iron. So it's like, you know, why not use it? And I could probably just leave this portion stone and then, you know, wrap the outside uh, in iron or something. Um, and, to you know, just try to give it a, a better look. Um, I still haven't really figured out like a really good idea of how I want to, you know, necessarily decorate this thing or what I want it to look like as a finished product. Um, kind of just trying to get everything, you know, laid out, um, it all working and then, you know, we'll skin it, uh, with something, whether it be, um, stone or iron. So leave me some comments uh, down below on what you think I should do as far as um, getting the iron from down below up to this chest and, and then as well as uh, kind of how the design uh, with this is. Um, and that's going to do it for me for this episode. I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. Uh, probably going to be a little bit shorter of an episode, but that's all right. Uh, I wanted to get this out to you, uh, show you the progress that I've made on it. Uh, just to kind of keep you guys up to date because it's been quite a while since I released a Minecraft video. Um, and to be quite honest, I did get a little burnt out um, making all these, you know, chests and stuff, is af especially after I got done with the gold farm. Uh, I was just kind of tired of, you know, thinking so hard about all of this stuff. Um, 
but I was able to, you know, just take a break, play some No Man's Sky, play some, you know, of the crew and uh, jump back onto this. Uh, now I'm fully revitalized and ready to take it on. So tell me what you guys think uh, in the comment section down below, and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao.